Hello, I'm David DeHart and this is your Daily Barometer News Blast. The Corvallis cityscape has recently been the site of ideological conflict after a public display of white nationalist views. On the morning of Wednesday, July 19th, a man reported racist messages chalked on sidewalks in downtown Corvallis. While the city removed the chalk soon after, this public expression of explicit racism has prompted response and a reflection in the Corvallis community. Local anti-racist groups showing up for racial justice and community action for racial equity responded by organizing community members to chalk messages of inclusivity on Corvallis sidewalks. Subsequently, over 50 white nationalist stickers were found across downtown Corvallis on poles, cars, and walls, which were removed by local volunteers. According to Lt. Daniel Duncan, the Corvallis Police Department will investigate the sticker postings as property violations, but chalking in public spaces is considered free speech regardless of content. Oregon State University students and the surrounding community don't have to travel as far as New Orleans or Chicago to hear jazz music. They would only have to go a few miles west of campus to Imagine Coffee on Philomath Boulevard to hear OSU graduate and music department employee Bryson Scar perform shows each Monday, some weeks as a solo pianist and others with a full funk band. The locally owned coffee shop provides an intimate atmosphere and the shows provide Scar with performance experience. Off the stage, Scar uses music as a way to express himself and to provide a fresh perspective to his audience. For complete stories from this week's News Blast, you can visit our website at orangemedianetwork.com. Don't forget to follow us on social media, and make sure to pick up this month's issue of The Barometer on newsstands around campus. From all of us here at Orange Media Network, I am David DeHart. Thank you for tuning in.